really been a labor of love for many years. I grew up without a television. My parents did not want to have a TV. Uh, and I read children's books. I was at the library almost every day getting different books. I fell in love with Dr. Seuss, uh, the poetry of Dr. Seuss. And, um, and while I read the books, I would listen to my parents' record collection, which was all classical music. It was just only classical music. And so that was such a fond memory from my childhood that I wanted to create for young people today a similar experience of a picture book with fun poetry uh, and hearing classical music. And of course, I wanted to take it a step further. I wanted the music to relate directly to what they were reading. Um, so it's, it's just been, uh, it's been me trying to imagine what would be my favorite book if I were a child um, and, and, and trying to create that book. When we started to uh, create this book, I went to New York and Random House Kids has an enormous conference table on which they had about a hundred different um, stacks of art from different uh, children's book authors or illustrators. And they said, well, you know, here we go. And I got it down to four choices, uh, my four favorites. And they said, well, three of these are very famous children's book writers or, author, or illustrators. And one of them is a relatively unknown person. And I said, I really hope that the, I said, well, the, the one, the one I like is the one with the alligator with the crazy eyes. And they said, that's the unknown author. And she has done such a wonderful job on this. It's just perfect. Right now I'm in the middle of a new Robert Langdon adult novel. Um, I don't know. I, I really enjoyed this process and uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'll someday I'll write wild salad about a bunch of vegetables or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it was actually, um, you know, in the old days, I mean, you would, you, I'm sure publish books like this where there's a CD inside the book that you listen to. Um, we don't do that anymore. I wanted to use an app, but I wanted to make it, I wanted to make sure that kids didn't get lost in the app. There's no animations, there's no games, there's no social media. It's all just about the music. And that was very, very important to me that the app is a way to deliver the music, but the focus always goes back to the book. Um, and we worked very hard to, uh, to make that happen with, the, with augmented reality. You just hold the phone over the book and it plays the right song. It's pretty amazing. Yeah.